today we are going to go behind the trends with Kohler's own Mark Bickerstaff, who's the director of new product development in kitchen and bath. And we're going to talk about how the dynamics in culture today are impacting lifestyle and design in the bathroom and the kitchen. Come on up, Mark. Thanks very much. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here talking to you and uh, to give you a little bit of insight about the trends that uh, we look at. And I think I'll start by saying, you know, cultural dynamics, complicated words. What we mean by that is we like to understand what's influencing your behavior around product so that we can really predict that and work ahead of you to design the future that really is desirable. So the first trend I'm going to talk about here is, is something that's become an incredible driver of influence in interior design, in product design, in every aspect of our culture. And that's about travel. Now, we back up all of our research into trends with um, work, looking at what's going on in terms of the numbers of people. And we know that more Americans than not see travel as a key part of their lives and are trading it off against the investments that they make in their homes. So it's a really important driver. But it's also something that really feeds our inspiration. It feeds us full of new um, and inspiring ways of designing our house and living our lives. And you'll see that in some of the products you see on the stand today. Things like the intelligent toilets and the bidets, they're coming into our culture because we've seen these come in from other cultures. And they are driving change. But it's not just this sort of ways of doing things. It's also what we see around us. We all visit places, have experiences, and those experiences drive how we feel about our lives at home. And we want to bring some of that feeling back with us. And that's where travel has a really important role. And we, you know, we're extraordinarily curious here at Cola. So as we travel and we love the fact that we're a global business, we use that to feed our imaginations. And so that's why you see around this booth so many products that are full of decoration, full of color, full of pattern, things that we absolutely love, and things that really fuel a way of creating a beautiful and better bathroom. And as it so often happens when you're talking about trends, you go from one thing to another, and they almost seem opposite. So the next trend I'm talking about is clean. And this is about many, many aspects of our lives today. So it's the personal element of clean, personal care. It's about the clean in your bathroom, but it's also how clean you are in your mind, whether you feel balanced with your life, the way you're leading it. And as you look around this booth, you'll see how that's influencing some of what we're doing. There's lots of products that are talking about personal care and about ways we can help you achieve your goals in terms of personal care. There's also lots of products there about personal hygiene, and I've talked about a few of those already. But then you'll also see a lot of products that talk about cleaning the space in which you live, bringing order to it, bringing your sense of balance to that environment. And that is a bit about simplicity. It is a bit about minimalism. But it's not just that. It's creating the space for your mind to relax and your mind to do what it wants to do. And you'll see that coming through in some of the beautiful, simple, sophisticated products we have around the booth. The Veil Suite, which is over here. You'll see that has a beautiful curved shape. But it, underneath that is ultimately very, very simple. In the components collection in our faucet area, you'll see it there again. Refined simplicity, real reduction to give actually you, your mind an easy way to understand it and then to interpret it cleanly and give you space to think and breathe. And as you look at those two trends, they sort of converge, and that's why this trend is here. And that convergence really is a sweet spot about trends and about the way they influence how we think about our products in the future. So when we talk about modern, modern isn't a trend. So don't get confused. Modernity doesn't mean simplicity. It doesn't mean minimal. What modernity means is that in your mind, you want to live in the future and not dwell in the past. And your future can be your combination of things, your combination of influences. But it is progressive. It's forward thinking. And then part of that is why you see around this booth some products that are overtly perhaps traditional in style, but underneath the hood, they're incredibly complex and technical and the most advanced they can be because it's absorbing that modernity. But another trend that you see around that really is driven in this area is the strength and belief in your own personal expression, your individuality coming through in the products that you choose to use to create your bathroom in a modern way. 
for combining things from different areas, er, um, eras and areas and allowing that to express your own individuality. That's truly where modernity comes through, is you being able to design a bathroom that's better than it was before. And we talked a bit about technology. And we all understand the complex environment we live in today. The battle we have between the technology we have in our pocket, the way we're using it, the amount of time it takes, and the fact that most of us are spending more time looking down at this device than we are actually interacting with our environment and the people around us. And we all feel that guilt. So technology is incredibly important in terms of what it can do for us, but also incredibly invasive in the way it affects our lifestyle. So we, we're embracing that here. And I think the way we think about it is that technology is about what it does for you, not what it is. We talk about intelligence that you don't see being put into our products. And that's why when you look here and you look at the connected products, the products that give deep technology communications, they're not really about the technology per se. They're about how that te technology can make the experience even more delightful than it was before. And that's our attitude to technology. Everything is about that. Everything is about putting it there, but you seeing the benefit, not the technology. And so you'll see us, we were very, very early in coming to market with highly advanced showering systems, DTV, touch controls, where intuitive control really is the most important thing. And we've gone further than that now, and you're seeing Connect with its voice control technology. And this is just the beginning. What you're seeing here is products that are connected, that have deeper capability. And in the future, what you'll see is these products working with each other to give you even better experiences in the whole environment in the bathroom. And so there's a self-indulgence to this, there's no doubt. There's a, a sort of, I don't like segmenting people too much because we're people, we're individuals, we're not the same, but we call them new sophisticates in the way that we talk about them. And it's about living life in the moment. And if you think about the pressures of life today, more and more people are feeling that you have to live in the moment now. Not tomorrow, not next year, but to the full today. And so that's about treating yourself. And it is about making these trade-offs about where you spend your money, how you spend your money, and investing in things that matter to you. We at Cola believe that your home, your bathroom, your kitchen are places that you spend so much time that they are worth investing and treating yourself to the very, very best. The best materials, the best technology, the very best design, not just inspired by what's around us, but inspired by this incredible rich world that we're surrounded by. And you'll see a lot around this booth that's all about color. And I talked earlier about cola and color. Color is, is life made visible to us. It really is where bold life exists. And the color trends that we are going to show you here are just snapshots that connect to some of the things I've been talking about, about how culture, how society is changing the way we think, the way we believe. And this nuanced neutral trend really connects to that element of needing to seek calm, quiet, and warmth in the environment around us. And it's about layering. It's about not just using one tone everywhere necessarily, but tone on tones that give a depth, but also give a muted, comfortable warmth. And a fresher, airier version of this, perhaps lighter, more feminine, but I think an incredibly buoyant and uh, life-infused trend is this um, Blanche Pastels trend. And I'd simply say to you, dare to do it. Because once you get into it, it comes through as an incredibly human trend, human way of uh, decorating a room, decorating a space, and making it feel really positive, really engaging but really rich in a way that you perhaps didn't expect. And let's talk about whites. I mean, whites have been around us forever. It's boring, isn't it? But reality is no, because white ultimately is the palette to our lives. It's the, the, it's the palette against which we can paint our own individuality. And so this strong, I mean, I'd say this is really a mega trend, is about taking whites and then layering them against each other with texture, with depth, with different materials, with different types of whites to give you this, if you like, your eye can cast across the whole room 
And if it likes, it can relax. If, it do, if you want to dwell, you can dwell on the depth and the individual objects and the different finishes. And that's evolving and developing. So at the edge of this trend about white is bringing in this chalkiness. And what we mean by that is that feel, that matte feel, that texture that engages your senses when you actually engage with the products around you. Bringing that in with, with the black is obviously a very classic reference. And if we go to the next trend, we see this continuing, this, this combination of whites and blacks having this ability to be timeless in your environment. But where it's moving is to put in surface finish that varies. This is talking about oily finishes, that real lustrous, oily, deep finish. In the whites, in the darks, it adds a real depth to the environment. And as you extend that, that same philosophy about whites can then be taken into other neutrals, greys, the pastels that we've seen before, layering them, bringing them through, but adding the texture to make the environment richer in the detail. And this is where things like silvers come in. I mean, there's a lot of this, and you'll see some beautiful examples of tiles like this on the back of the booth in the Roman area. What this adds is a luster. And remember, when we're talking about color and we're talking about materials and finishes, really the key in all of it is light and the way that light interacts with the surface. And there's nothing like a matte lustered finish in silver and other to pick up the colors around it and add a richness and add a depth, which other stronger colors don't necessarily demonstrate. And as we think about that, as we think about these mattes and neutrals and pales, there's an earthiness to all of this. And so we're seeing this earthiness come through into the colors that are remaining strong and remaining in the trends that we're seeing going forward. So all of these colors are infused with this sandiness, this grit, this earthiness that adds a gray texture and a gray tone to them. And we see that continuing. It adds a warmth. And if you combine it with leathers, if you combine it with velvets, which have that rich, deep texture, what you get is a really warm, sophisticated environment. To or this autumn trend here really is just taking that to an extreme. I love the fact that not so many years ago we were taking dark old woods and saying, that needs to go, that needs to move on, that's my grandma's furniture. But what we're doing now is reinventing that and saying, no, the material isn't at fault here. We can reinterpret it and bring that richness, that warmth back into the environment, adding the value in a new and modern way. You know, we love finishes. We love vibrant finishes in our, in our faucets. We love the fact that we're extending them out into the bathroom in different ways. And what these do, as I said with the, the silvers, is the metallic tones pick up other colors and you get a depth in the environment which really is engaging. And so bronzes, brasses, brushed textures, worn finishes, patina, all of these add uh, a depth, a uh, your life's experience painted across the bathroom environment. And if you layer these in with some of the darker earthy tones, you get a really interesting way of creating bathrooms and kitchens. And coppers. Now, when we first started talking about coppers probably seven or eight years ago in reality and seeing it coming through in watches, in jewelry, and very rapidly coming through into this environment in the kitchen and the bathroom, but really not finding its place completely. What we're seeing now actually is we're learning to tune the copper in to the scheme, to the interior we're trying to create, changing the tone of the copper, adding more red, taking more red. And I think that brightness in the copper is something that adds a very vibrant touch into an environment. So I think we're gonna see this strengthening rather than weakening as something that we see in an environment. And that same tone, that brightness, is coming through in whether it's a Middle Eastern or an Asian influence, but it's got spice to it. And spice adds energy to life. And so we see this coming through. If you see those earthy tones, I think we'll see within that set of colors, earthy, fiery, reds, yellows, magentas, being something that's expressed in highlights within the interior that we're creating. And translucent tints, now glass. You know, one of the things we've been looking a lot at is how in interiors you use layering, whether that be the Jali screens that you can see over there by Real Rain, whether that be glass with a tint or a texture. What it does is it allows the line 
to infuse through that material, but it also allows light to come through and your eye to follow through. And that adds space and light to any environment. So the subtlety of these tints is something we love. And actually, this is behind a lot of the work that we did when we talked about the ombre that you see in the faucets over here launching this year. There's an element to it of that magic of the changing color of something, which adds an element of surprise, an element of beauty and delight into the environment. And that, I think, is here also. This play of light is a consistent theme, something we really enjoy looking at and I think will become a sophisticated add-on to any uh, bathroom interiors and kitchen interiors. What this is, is light playing on dark blue and green tones and having a, a shimmering effect. Of course, where does it come from? It's historical. You know, the peacock was a rare bird. It was prized for its feathers. It was prized for its rarity. But what we're seeing is that if you build this into a an environment using very dark tones, layered on layered, adding those velvet textures we talked about earlier, what you create is an atmosphere of immersion, of darkness, of deep comfort, if you like, a place that you can escape into. Perhaps slightly dangerous, perhaps slightly sexy, perhaps something that really is an environment that you can indulge in. And I think that all comes together nicely in this, the last of the color material and finish trends we're talking about, which is iridescence. I've touched on the way light plays upon materials, the way light shimmers on surfaces, the way it goes through and reflects and refracts through glass. And iridescence really brings that all together as a touch of magic. And in our lives, I think we're surrounded by things that really we don't understand, but we embrace technology, communications. It works for us. And this brings it through in a sort of materialist way. This is a natural thing but there's a magic to it, the way it reflects light, the way it adds a beauty, adds different colors depending on your angle of viewing, depending on the time of day. I think this element of magic is a fantastic area that you're gonna see coming through. Highlights within kitchens and bathrooms, things that really become little signatures within the products we're creating. And I think that's a great place to wrap up, this element of magic. I talked about trends being part science. Really, they're all about human intuition, human creativity and we're talking about trends because we really want to inspire you for you to be inspired by the products that we're creating because we really are trying to inspire you to create even better and more beautiful bathrooms thanks very much